exam tasks answers for previous exams. This is the computer concepts. And the question is, a smart thermostat can accomplish which of the following and select all that apply. So it can actually detect the room uh, occupancy. It can also receive instructions from a smartphone app and it can also adjust room temperature based on weather outside. So the only thing that the thermostat cannot do is unlock your front door. Features common to mobile apps include select all that apply, optimization for a small screen, low or free price point, connectivity, compatibility with the desktop version, so it's actually all those apply. By recycling electronics, you can select all that apply, reuse valuable materials, keep toxic materials out of water we drink, and preserve unlimited resources. So the only one that recycling does not um, help is distribute TV, TVs or monitors. Before donating a computer, you should back up and transfer data to your new computer and securely remove your personal information. Tasks you can perform online include which of the following, select all that apply, taking a science course, transferring funds, and researching products. The only one you cannot do is play with your dog. A thermostat can accomplish which of the following, detect room occupancy, receive instructions from a smartphone app, and adjust room temperature based on the weather outside. The only thing a smart thermostat cannot do is unlock your front door. Smart home appliances typically include which of the following, select all that apply. So smart home appliances would be sensors that collect information, Wi-Fi capability, and ability to send notifications to your smartphone. So only, the only smart home appli appliances would not include the following, which would be mouse and keyboard. Word module one, I just clicked to the left of um, the W and Y, and you're gonna type consider the following with a colon, shift, um, semicolon, and then press enter. Repeat an action. Double click the word soon, and from the mini toolbar, collect, select bold, then double click then. You also want it bold, but not by clicking from the mini toolbar, also not by clicking from the font group, but going up to the quick access toolbar and um, the opposite of the undo is the redo key, and it actually says repeat bold, which you're going to do. Open a document, click file, open, documents, you probably wanna click browse first, and there it is. Select it and open. So you're going to select the street address, and then I just went into the um, selection area and clicked, so it selected the whole line. And it should be underneath Jake Peterson, but before Atlanta. So I'm hovering in the gray. I'm going to hold and drag so the flashing cursor is to the left of Atlanta and let go. This next exercise or task is copy and paste using the paste option. And we are going to be copying precision builders and it's gonna go right here. Notice the font size of the cursor is large because it's in what's called the title style. So I'm going to select precision builders and choose copy. And then I'm gonna to click to the location where I want it but I want it in this large uh, font and not to this green color. So I'm gonna click paste, and then I'll click this little paste options button and choose merge formatting. So it'll go to the title style. So it's much larger. Move the PB picture logo to the left-hand side. So you click, hold, and drag it, and you just wanna move it to the left in the corner there and let go. 
add a page border to this document, choose Design, Page Borders, make sure you select Box, and from the style, select the uh, down arrow, and you're looking for double lines. The next one is triple, so double lines. Change the width of it to two and a quarter, and the color will be gold accent six. And OK. Word, module two, find formatting. So we're not actually looking for text for words. We're looking for something that is in bold. Set the date. So you'll click the editing from the home ribbon and then click the down arrow next to find and choose advanced find. And what we're looking for is not text, so click more, choose format, font, and we're looking for anything that is in bold. And then click OK. And then you'll choose find next and it's going to pop us right to set the date, which is in bold. Go ahead and close. Modify the footnote text. So hover over the footnote underneath the dividing line and right click and choose style and then choose modify and Times New Roman is fine. We're just going to increase the size to 12 and then we'll select double spacing. You get a sample here. Then we need to also do first, uh, first line indent, so click Format, Paragraph, and then for Special, select First Line, it's a half inch, which is perfect, OK, and OK, and Apply. Insert a comment. comment. Again, hover over to the left-hand side of the margin with your selection area and just click once, it selects the entire line, and then on the Review tab, Click Comments, New. Over on the right-hand side, you'll type Change Font, question mark, and then click anywhere inside the document. Insert a citation using a new source. So on page two, or it's actually page three, um, it is page two, page two of three, go to the end of that paragraph you want to be after the S but before the period and then you'll select review um, I'm sorry references and then choose insert um, citation so that you'll see here insert citation it's a new one so click new source and then you're going to make sure that all of the information that you fill in here is taken from um, everything that's showing up here so I'll pause it for a moment Make sure the information that you copy from here is accurate, and then click OK. Insert a header. So if you hover up into the top part of the margin, this is the header area, and double click. It automatically takes you into the header area, and you'll type KB Kitchen, and then space bar, and this is where you'd want it numbered. Click page number, choose current position where it actually is, and then plain number and then close. Create a first line indent. Make sure you're on the second line where it says Precision Builders is, and then click the Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher, and then where Special is, click in there and choose First Line Indent, and OK. When it doesn't work one way, we'll try the other way. So um, I'm to the left of Precision Builders, and I'm going to go to this marker here in the ruler, and it says, if you hover on it correctly, first line indent, and then bring it to the half inch mark. And it's the same thing that we just did. Remove space before or after a paragraph. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in the right location. It's flashing on keys to a successful, the title. Click so that you're in the italicized check um, paragraph, and then click layout tab and you want to remove the spacing before, so click the down arrow until it goes to zero, and the after to zero. Modify a style. So if you were to look at this one here, keys to a successful renovation, that is actually heading one. If you click planning, you'll see that that's heading two. So what you'll do is you will Just go into Styles, and on Heading 2, right-click and choose Modify. 
change it to size 14 and italic and then OK. So we want to update the heading 2 which is planning so click on planning and then go to styles and again right click this time just choose update heading 2 to match selection and it did the same thing for communication. Use the navigation pane to go to a page. Click editing, click find, your navigation pane opens on the right hand side. Click pages, in the search box type 3 and search and it'll take you to the third page. You can also do it from here so I'll do 3 and enter. Enter works as well. So in this particular task, they want you to use the find and then select pages, but instead of typing the three, just scroll down and click the one that's three page, the third page. I was making it hard. This one's a navigation also, but instead of page numbers, they want you to go to certain headings. So again, click editing and then choose find. It's always set for headings. We changed to pages before and we want remember the prize and it'll take you right to that section. Use the format painter so that precision builders that's in gold will also be to the second precision builders. So select the first one, click format painter and then your mouse changes to a paintbrush attached to it and then just select the second precision builders. Group the two rectangular objects at the top of the page. Click the first one by itself then hold shift and select the second one so that they're both selected. You can tell by the circles and the square around it. Then click the drawing tools format and in arrange you'll see group and then select group. And you can ungroup as well. Insert a shape. We're going to insert a shape right above the heading here. So click insert shapes and they want stars and banners. So scroll down and they want the star that's four points so click that your mouse changes to a cross here and i'm just going to do it right above about an inch wide and let go apply a shape style actually select the object first and then drawing tools format these are shape styles you click the down arrow for more options and they're looking for colored filled line excellent three We're going to set a tab at four inches on the ruler, hover right on the four and click. Then where May is, actually press the tab key on the keyboard. Place the insertion um, indicator below workshop schedule and then we'll go into paragraph, tabs, and we'll set a tab stop at five with the leaders that are um, underscores and then click set and OK. And then we'll type the word noon and then press um, tab. Format a paragraph border. Select or uh, scroll down to the middle of the document and click anywhere in this um, text border and then go to the down arrow for borders and choose borders and shadings. And for the style, use the triple one. So if you click your style down arrow, this is the double. Here's the triple. And we're going to change it to one and one half points. And the color will be gold accent six. And it'll be around this entire paragraph. Apply to the paragraph and OK.